All right, guys, welcome back to Half Fast 719. We got the Audi tore apart, just one side. I'm going to do one wheel at a time, just because I want to. Anyway, so here's the massive rotors. Oh, jeez. Massive rotors on this uh, Audi. And there's the massive... Uh, caliper um anyway we got bikers hopefully I didn't offend any of them anyway so this uh, brake kit I bought R1 Concepts supposedly out of LA Los Angeles so these are for the rear um you can go on here they didn't send them to me or I bought them bought them on eBay facebook.com R1 Concepts, uh, Instagram at R1 Concepts, hashtag stopping the world, hashtag R1 Concepts, hashtag Team R1. Anyway, they didn't come with any any hardware, which is stupid. Um, but basically, you just need that. That's basically all the hardware. They didn't come with no lube for the pin. So, I just want to show you guys the these are the Vato Zone pads that I put in which are still fine but as you can see the pads they're only working from here up and then on the back side this is the back one this is the front one from here to that way so and you can see uh, why this is worn really really deep in here I'll try to see if I can Get you guys some type of angle. This back side's probably oh, the both both the front and the back. They got a good sized lip in here, there and there. So you can see how they're not wearing properly. So the rotors are pretty much junk, trash. So it's a good thing I'm doing new brakes. So and as you can see, we got these big old massive drilled ones. She's drilled and dimpled, I guess you can call them. So, you can see, they're brand new. So, uh, and these are six piston, big old calipers, made in where I'm from, Italy. Made in the Italy. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna clean them up, drop these rotors in, but it's really, really simple. Um, I'll show you on the next wheel since I've already done them before. The biggest problem was turning the wheel and getting these 21 millimeter bolts out from the back. Two bolts, one there, one there. And then I'm gonna reuse the sensor. Ooh, I'm gonna reuse the sensors. Since the sensors are brand new, I just put them in. And then I'll keep the other sensors as backup. So anyway, let me get this uh, one thrown on here, show you what it looks like, and then I'll show you guys Probably fast forward how to disassemble the other side back. Alright, guys, so went to fit the new rotors on, and their tolerance is pretty tight. I don't know if it's Audi's tolerance or theirs, but ended up having to file these. They were sticking out, protruding a little bit all the way around. So I had to file those down in order to get this stupid rotor to clear inside here. So anyway, I got it cleared now and yeah, there are a right and a left rotor. So this is the left side rotor. You can see the things point that way, you know, to disperse the heat. So anyway, hopefully I don't have to do this to every one of them file those little tangs off but it's pretty pretty tight
All right, guys, we got the brake pads, rotors, everything on. Uh, other than these new sensors, I'll keep because the sensors that are on there are brand new. Um, all the tools not put away. So these are the rears. The rears are pretty much gone. They got the same big lip here. Um, but yeah, so those are gone. Um, anyway, we'll have a look inside here. So make sure that you put your your little drills or your slots going that way. Got new pads, new rotors, front and the rear. So same thing for the rear. Got them all in. Kind of a pain in the butt to do the rears. The rears were harder to do than the fronts because I don't know why. I don't know why they do it this way, but they do. Um, show you real quick. So the rears use this inverted whatever this stupid thing's called so it's a metric 16 12 point I guess like an inverted 12 point so if you're out of a 16 millimeter so that's a 16 millimeter socket did I read that right 16 it says M16 which is technically a 14 a 14 millimeter basically so the saw the bolts they look like that is what they look like a little 12 point inverted so the rears have this and then the fronts are just a 21 millimeter uh, 21 millimeter socket um, and then there's little caps so one cap the, or the screw that holds the uh, brake rotor onto the hub is a uh, T50 so gotta have a T50 and then there's a the little disc brake adjuster which this is not it it's a T27 which I jacked up but uh, anyway it's a uh, it's another small uh, metric so this is a uh, M6 so I'm assuming it's an M5 or an M4 because even this one didn't fit this was too big and uh, I don't have I don't have any more all I have is an M6 an M8 an M10 an M12 14 that's a 10 this is a 12 this is a uh, 14 16 and Assuming 18, yeah. So those are those are all I have for that, and it was a smaller one. So I ended up using uh, uh, an easy out to get both of them out. And uh, yeah, so that's the brake job. I'm gonna go to AutoZone. I'm gonna clean up these boxes, tear these boxes down, throw them in the garbage. The discs are garbage. So those are the pads, the AutoZone pads. I'll probably have to get some new AutoZone pads. Um, later, eventually, so I'm going to go to AutoZone, get the master cylinder for that, um, probably pick up something to eat, and uh, go from there. So, alright guys, that's going to be it. Thanks for subscribing, comment, give me a like, dislike, I don't care. Follow me on Instagram, halffast719, because you'll see this stuff before it happens, um, if you even care. And check out my boy One and Glenn. And then go over and check out a decent first gen. Decent first gen. He's got a new first gen single cab. Um, pretty cool. I follow him on Instagram. Pretty sure his name is Decent First Gen. Um, I'm looking it up to make sure that it is, in fact, Decent First Gen. Um... Yeah, decent underscore first, the number one ST underscore gen. So, right there, decent 
underscore first gen. So anyway, go check him out. Check out his videos. He's got a uh, quad cab first gen, pretty cool. Um, I think it was a gas, and then he converted it to the 12 valve somehow. Something he did. Been trying to talk the kid into doing that to his, but whatever. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Later.